We live in a society today that shames people and we need to do better. One of the Twitter followers says, do any of you think that Boston City Councilor Julia Mejia exhibits characteristics of someone who has a cocaine addiction? Another person says that my look has changed dramatically over the last three years and post a picture of the way that I looked when I first ran in 2019 and has noticeably bags under her eyes that weren't there before. Folks on Twitter are uh, utilizing this platform to body shame me, to make it to make it seem as though my health issues are related to the use of drugs. For those who are wondering if I am using drugs, the answer is absolutely not. In 2018, after being in the uh, weight loss diabetes program at the Boston Medical Center, I lost my battle to diabetes and high blood pressure. And my doctor said that the only way to reverse my conditions was to go through the gastric bypass surgery. And I lost almost half of my body, but I reclaimed my health. Now, I'm an elected official, and I understand that this is par for the course. So this is not about me. The things that you have seen um, in the comments make me wonder how people who are struggling with addiction may feel. With people who have gone through this life-saving operation, how do they feel about the way their body and their face and their whole composure changes as a result of a dramatic surgery like this? I don't even smoke pot, but yet, this is what white supremacists do. They tell lies and hope that you will believe them. I, that if for those who are experiencing issues of addiction, it is my hope that people will be kind and compassionate. I hope that if I was truly struggling with an addiction, that people would not attack me for it.